program conducted as part of CFLEX Workstream 1 Phase 2 uh, provides a crucial foundation for the future update of the design guidelines. As such, uh, we wanted to ensure that it is scientifically sound, that the data is independently generated, and that we will have a full transparency from the data that's being generated through the decisions and assessments taken upon the data all the way to the updated design guideline. We worked uh, from the very beginning with external partners, that is uh, academics, as well as leading testing laboratories in Europe to ensure that we have a robust methodology to perform the testing that is also uh, clear and detailed enough that it could be independently repeated at any point and so that we can be sure that all the relevant data that will be needed for a proper assessment of sortability or recyclability is generated. As part of this process, we went through numerous reviews and improvements upon the methodologies, which are of course oriented and based upon existing methodologies that are out in the market. As such, we worked on, for example, making certain points clearer on uh, ensuring reproducibility and repeatability, on understanding confidence uh, in data, and also on how the data will be documented and presented. The collaborative approach we're taking in the Workstream 1 Phase 2 testing program helps us both in terms of an improved understanding as well as improved transparency and scientific rigor. What we're doing is we're bringing together uh, stakeholders from different backgrounds to jointly define what data will be generated and how it will be assessed. At the same time, by including our partners from academia and the testing laboratories, we ensure that uh, the testing uh, represents best practice and has sufficient scientific rigor uh, to be robust uh, and reliable. What the CFLEX Workstream 1 Phase 2 program uh, intends to deliver is, of course, uh, both the data foundation uh, for updating the D4As guidelines, as well as the input to the design guideline updates themselves. As such, there will be two key deliverables. One is, of course, the updated guidelines, introducing additional materials that have been tested, uh, clarifying materials that were already in the guidelines, for example, with um, limits on composition. But in addition to providing a more robust and expanded design guidance to packaging developers and packaging specifiers, there will be also a second benefit. Uh, it will be possible for numerous other entities to look at those data, um, draw their own conclusions, and if they want, incorporate it into their own work. As such, we aim to really support both the CFLEX project, but also provide a wider benefit uh, to other involved parties, to other stakeholders in the flexible packaging sector. Mm -hmm.